Welcome to Alive and Thriving. My name is Jessica. I am your host and it is so lovely to have you back here today. Do you know, I had someone say to me the other day or a few weeks ago now, actually, she said, I have not missed one of your podcast episodes and my eye just melted. I was like, wow, like I, it's, I don't know I've said this before, like you sit here and you record and you teach and you share and you you get vulnerable and I know for me like I share a lot of personal stories and things and it's easy sometimes to forget people are listening (laughs) and so having that kind of feedback was just like oh that is just so it just makes it worthwhile right it's this is why I'm doing this so that you can listen so you can learn so you can grow so that you can become the woman who is going to hold your next level of success and become the woman who like is that successful entrepreneur and who is healing and who is growing and I'm here to hold space for all of that and it just makes just such a difference to hear yeah the work that I am doing is being listened to (laughs) so hi welcome thank you I want to talk to you today about reasons why you may not be attracting your ideal client Now, last week we spoke about ascension symptoms and things to look for that may actually be showing you that you are actually already growing, that you are actually already ready to hold on to that next level, but you're probably clinging to something in the here and now to prevent that from happening. Today, I'm going to take you through a couple of different things that I see really commonly. I see it in the mastermind. I see it with private clients. I see it with peers. I see it all the time. I have been through it myself. Every single one of these things I'm going to share with you today that commonly block you from getting the clients that you want to work with. Now, you might call these high value clients. You might call these dream clients. And just quickly, also, before I get deeper into it, if you do want to learn more, go even deeper with me on attracting, how to attract your dream clients, how to make more income, how to expand your impact in your solopreneur business, then I actually have a free masterclass coming up that you are going to want to come to. So this is for coach, the healer, the service provider who is ready to meet their next level, ready to grow, ready to scale, ready to break through their glass ceiling without losing yourself without losing your values and without burning out your nervous system because doing getting the dream clients creating more impact creating more income through your soul-led business doesn't necessarily have to mean doing more and that is what we are all about here we are all about creating a business that is is conscious that is aligned with your values, that is not operating on autopilot and that is not operating from beliefs that served you once upon a time when you were a young child trying to navigate your way in this world, but now you're operating your business from this old, outdated survival programming. And it's just it just doesn't make sense to, to try and get to where you want to go without doing that internal work without managing your energy. We spoke a little bit in last week's episode about how your energy is felt and it impacts the people who you work with. It impacts the people who you reach. It impacts everything that you do. Everything is energy. And I'm going to teach you my system for Soul Aligned Six Figure Success. And I'm going to make sure that you do this. I'm going to teach you how to do this in a way that, again, doesn't burn out your nervous system, that supports that conscious, aligned business that you want to be running, that you may already be running, but let's take it to the next level. So you can register. That is totally free. There are two live events happening. Oh, and by the way, super exciting. I've never done this before. At the end of each session, for those who are on live, If you're watching me right now on YouTube, you can see my hands are like moving. I'm so excited for this. For those who are on live at the end of the session, I'm going to stop recording and we are going to do a super secret session, which is all focused on three powerful tips 
for you to implement into your core offer right now to make it an absolute no-brainer. She sees into my soul. She is inside of my head for your clients. So yeah, that's happening, which is really exciting. And I'm doing all of that for free on the 30th and the 31st of May. So register your seat. It's completely free. There will be a replay, but you won't get that super secret bonus session at the end. Uh, I suppose it's not so secret because I just told you what it is, but super secret sounds cool, right? (laughs) But you won't get that bonus session at the end if you are not live though. So go over and register for that because honestly, like for me, being able to design a a a body, a business that is guided by your body's wisdom has been huge. It has just been so huge. And we'll talk a little bit about that today as well. But there is a whole episode coming dedicated to that. To really amplify your energy, to attract and work with your dream clients, your high value clients. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. And to move towards or into or higher further into five figure months and beyond consistently i just know i can't wait to teach this to you i really can't so let's talk about our our high value clients today let's talk about how or common reasons that i see that you are not actually working with your high value clients yet You're listening to Alive and Thriving with Jessica Reed, the podcast that's all about empowering you to achieve optimal wellness and success through self-care, holistic practices, and raw conversations. Jessica and her expert guests are here to share powerful insights and strategies to help you overcome stress and anxiety, take charge of your life, and thrive in life and in business. Grab a cuppa and let's dive in. Let's start by really discerning like what is a high value client because straight away when I first heard that term I was like oh okay so they need to be paying me more money is it a like a high financial value client and then I went deeper into it and I don't necessarily agree with that it doesn't necessarily mean higher ticket pricing your high value client is someone who fits that dream client description that you have So if you have not done this work yet, like if you are just blazing over and I did it for, I'll be so honest here, I I think it's a manifesting generator thing. I am really averse to niching and it was all I was told for the first, God, 12 months or so of this business. It was like, get really clear on who you work with. And I felt like I had to limit my whole business to that and it felt really icky and limiting for me and so what I then avoided doing was discerning an ideal client I completely avoided having like that one beautiful ideal absolute dream to work with client I just didn't do that work I did but I overthought it and I got so confused because what if she says and what if she says so something that I was taught in one of by one of my mentors is that as a manifesting generator to really look at having an ideal yeah, I still have one ideal client by the way. But in terms of niching, I had this flexibility when I was told well, why don't you niche like for each offer rather than for your business and things have just been in so much flow since then. Not to mention the hours and hours that I wasted all this energy laying awake at night that I wasted trying to figure out like just what the niche should be. Anyway, this is off topic. (laughs) It'll tie in. So when you think about your ideal client, first of all, you really need to know who they are. Maybe you've worked with them before. Maybe you haven't. I want you to give them a name. I want you to give them an image, like know who they are, know their psychographics, not just their their problems and why they need your business but actually know like where do they hang out what do they like to do for fun what kind of things are they thinking get to know your ideal client so deeply and so intimately 
so that then every time you speak about an offer, you are just speaking to that person. And that inconsistent messaging is one of the is going to be one of the reasons why you are not yet working with your ideal client. Because if you don't know specifically who she is, and I know I get it, like I was the healer and the coach that was like, I just want to help everybody. And you can, because the thing is, is that when you speak to that one person, other people will still come in. People will still connect to you. They will still resonate with different aspects. But you speak to this ideal client, this dream client, and the client who fits that description, she is your high value client or he, they. That is your high value client. The client who is like, oh, they're just a dream to work with. To me, that is your high value client. They are the ones who are going to value themselves enough to value what you do. They are the ones who are going to show up for themselves. They are the ones who are going to commit to your journey together. You don't have to drag them across the finish line and constantly check up on them. They are just doing the work because they want to be doing the work with you. For me, that is a high value client. And and then they come on a journey with you. Maybe they start in your $20 a month membership and maybe then they move into one-on-one work with you. Maybe they start one-on-one and they go into your membership. Maybe they start one-on-one and go into a high ticket container or vice versa. Or they go on this pathway that you create within your business. But if you don't know who they are, they're not going to know who they are. And confused people just don't buy. And so the very first reason why you might not be attracting your ideal client and your dream client to work with, and I know how good that feels. I can honestly say everybody in every one of my containers right now, my mastermind, embodied entrepreneur, and my private spaces, everybody is a dream aligned client, hand on heart, can honestly say that. So you might not be attracting your dream aligned client because you don't know who they are. So that is the first thing to do, right? To look at who actually is this person. And then let's look at things like self-doubt. Can I actually help that person? I blocked myself for so long from working with my dream client because there was some beliefs within me, limiting beliefs that had me believe that I didn't have XYZ qualifications or XYZ knowledge or XYZ just all this absolute bullshit really that I was not qualified enough smart enough whatever enough to actually help my ideal dream client and breaking through that that is so essential to actually believe that you are the person that they need I declared at a retreat gosh, two years ago, I was like, I want to be known as like the go-to alternative therapist for women who are seeking that internal healing, that internal growth and holistic business expansion. I had to believe that I could be that person first. I had to show up as that person first. I had to know so deeply within my soul that I can help, that I can do this. And so your self-doubt will block you from working with your dream clients because you literally will just not put yourself out there in the way that they are going to be magneted to. And you'll be like, oh, I'm going to talk to my dream client. And then it's, but then I'm going to also just mention everybody else while I'm chatting. And then suddenly my dream client is, oh, that's not for me. She's not talking to me and off, off they go because I was doubting myself. And I wonder if you do that too. And then we need to look at what other beliefs are you holding about your client? Yes, do you believe that you can hold that space? Are, do, are you connected enough with your values to know when a client is aligned with them? Because do you know that it's actually also okay to, because it is okay to say no to working with somebody. And that kind of leads me into my next point which is when it comes to, I guess, limiting beliefs, are you still in that scarcity mindset? Are you still in that energy of desperation? 
Because if you are, you will work with absolutely anybody who comes along, regardless of whether their values align with yours and regardless of whether or not you want to help them or regardless of whether or not they feel like a fit for you because you just take on everybody because yes, you want to help everybody. But if you are in that scarcity mindset, like there is not enough, my ideal client might not come, better take this person because I desperately have to replace my income. Like you don't have to do that. And when you do, you are actually closing off an energetic space to hold space for someone else, for the right person. The right person can't come if you don't have space to hold them. And it really truly is okay to say no to somebody who isn't right. No to somebody who is questioning the way that you do things. No to somebody who is not open to your approaches. No to somebody who wants to heckle you down on pricing. It is okay to say no. No, I'm sorry, I'm not the right person to help you, but I can recommend you to somebody who, I, who can. I've done that before. It just, it needs to feel good. You deserve to work with people who you feel good working with. You really, truly do. You do not have to take on anyone and everything just because you're open for business. If you're doing that, you have a scarcity mindset. So that will block you from working with your dream clients. Also, visibility. If you are fearing rejection, if you are fearing being seen, if you are not showing up in the way that we spoke about in last week's episode, then you are going to be limiting your reach energetically. And your ideal client, she won't find you. He, they, they say she because I, I primarily work with women, but they won't find you, right? If you are not visible to them, if you are not hanging out where they are hanging out, if you are not using hashtags and keywords and creating content that is actually going to get in front of them. If all of your dream clients are over are searching through Pinterest and you're create and you're creating over here blogs but not sending them through Pinterest, then they're not going to find you. You need to know like where they are and then work through your internal visibility and I'm not going to talk much about that today because that was whole last week's episode on different levels of visibility. So that is for last week. But a visibility block will block you from working with dream clients. 100% will. I touched earlier on inconsistent messaging. So jumping around from who you're working with, jumping around, talking to all these different people, talking to everybody instead of one person. Do you know the best thing I did for that? The best thing I did was I worked with a branding expert. We created a brand Bible. It was not... I'd already had my colors and things in place. It wasn't that. It was getting deep into who is this person and a lot more into like my business values and all those types of things too. But having this person and then working with my dream clients and then adjusting that person to be like, this is it. This is my pinnacle person that I am going to speak to. And then I give AI that message so they know who I'm speaking to all the time. And I make sure that every time I do, I am focused purely just on that person. That's it. As I sit here and I record this, I know how many of you are listening that I am speaking to my dream client. And so if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You might not be an ideal client. I might not be the person for you. That's okay too. But when you constantly show up with inconsistent messaging, you are going to confuse your audience and you're going to confuse yourself. So that need to help and heal everybody, we need to really connect into that and find a way to satisfy that maybe with community, maybe with giving back. There is a way to help and satisfy that need without speaking to everybody when you are advertising, when you're marketing, when you're on social media, when you're on other people's podcasts, like whenever you're doing, you don't want to speak to everybody. You, you need consistent messaging. Again, confused people don't buy so that it might be another reason why you are not attracting your dream clients. And then the final thing that I want to talk about is your offer. 
you need to really take the time to get to know your client. And you know, we'll go deeper in this in our secret session at the end of this masterclass. But if your client does not understand why your offer will transform them and meet their need and help their pain, then they're not going to work with you. They need to understand how you can help them. That's pretty much all it is. How can that person help me? So we create these offers and we're like, okay, all right, what am I going to do? I'm going to do a six session coaching package and I'll do boxer support. That's not the offer. That is not the offer. And if that is what you're focused on, on your offer, then you're not going to be create. You're not going to be working with your dream clients because you are not finding a way to deliver them a unique tailored experience that is unique to your services, but also making them feel so seen and so heard. And there are ways that you can do that we're going to talk about in this masterclass that I really cannot. I love the offer creation process. It is so much fun, particularly the way that I do it because I bring in energetics into this whole process. I bring your body into this process. Like we are not just doing this with our mind. So being clear on your offer, but also really doing the work, like spending the time with your offer, spending the time to really make sure that this is an offer that my client that meets my client's needs not just something I want to deliver because there needs to be a blend between both as you ponder those reasons that I've shared with you today inconsistent messaging self-doubt limiting beliefs and scarcity mindset visibility blocks not being clear on who your client is I would love to know if any of that resonates with you and if it does, please come over to Instagram at Jessica, what am I? At jessica.read.ilc. We'll link it in the show notes. Come over to Instagram and tell me where you're at and what really resonates of that with you. Because when we start working with our dream clients, then we start truly making the impact that we were here to make, that we were desiring to make with our business. And we also start creating the income because again, it's not a dirty word to want to make money from your business. We all need to do that. We all need to survive. And so there is no shame in being like, yes, I want my business to make money. Of course you do. No one wants to be running an unprofitable business. And so to work with your dream clients, like that focus, if you are not working with dream clients, forget about all your other strategy for a moment and come back in and check in on these things. And if you have not answered yes to all of that, If you've answered no to all of these things, amazing. I hope you're working with your dream clients. But if you've not and you're like, okay, maybe I am working from a scarcity mindset or I'm not clear on who I actually want to work with. Maybe that person has changed. My ideal client has changed three times, four times, a few times. She upgrades as I upgrade. That's great. So she should. Permission to upgrade who you are speaking to. Permission to speak to that fully upgraded version and allow everybody else to come along for the ride in between. I would start there. If you feel like you are not attracting the right people into your business, start there because all of these things are going to reflect back to an energetic block. All of these things are going to dwindle back down to what you are putting out, what you believe you can hold, you becoming a match for the right person. And the more you grow, And the more you become an energetic match, the more you will hold what you want to hold. But just like we're talking about earlier, like with the self-doubt, the limiting beliefs, if you don't believe you can hold space for that person or there is some kind of energetic block that is stopping you from doing that, then they will feel that and they won't come. Or they might come and it won't be favorable. Then you'll be like, ah, no, I'm not good at what I do. No, that's not true. There's just, there's work to do. So come and let me know what if this resonates with you, what your next steps are going to be because we're all about action over here and where to start for three secrets to attracting dream clients, higher impact and higher income. Register for that masterclass because I want to see you succeed in a way that 
aligns with who you are in a way that feels good for you, in a way that connects with your body, in a way that is balanced, feminine energy as well as being in your masculine. Like we need to be able to bring all of these elements in for a holistic business success. I truly believe that. Because when I look at a holistic business success, I don't just mean is your business successful. I look at is my business successful if I am also feeling good at home, if everyone is happy around me, if I'm giving the time and attention to my family that they deserve. That is holistic business success. If I'm run off my feet, ignoring everybody, feeling pressured, working on deadlines that um, I've actually set for myself and absolutely running myself into the ground for this business, then I don't call that successful. That's just me personally. Okay. Have the best day. Thank you for joining. I look forward to seeing you all at the masterclass. Go and register now and I will, yeah, see you soon. Bye. Wow. What a journey it's been today. We are so grateful for each and every one of you who tuned in to Alive and Thriving. If you enjoyed this episode and want to help us keep growing, please consider subscribing and leaving a review on your favourite platform. It's a simple but powerful way to support a small business like ours to continue to make an impact.